friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another huge Abercrombie haul. I know, I didn't think we'd be here either, but in case you missed it, about a month ago I did an Abercrombie haul because I was just curious and that video popped off. <laughs> So I guess y'all were as curious as me and I ended up I ended up keeping way more than I intended to I meant to return a lot more, but I really liked a lot of the things I'm actually wearing my favorite tank from them right now I have this in five colors now and my 90s jeans Um, so I saw they had a lot of new releases and there's a lot of additional things We didn't get to try in part one that I wanted to try now So I went to one of the last two in-person stores in Los Angeles and bought a pretty large hauls. We have some athletic wear actually, lounge wear, swimsuits, different style of jeans, jumpsuits, dresses, tops, a lot. We have a lot. Without further ado, this is going to be my first time trying these things on. We could play another game of keep versus return. You guys can let me know which things you think I should keep and I will let you know my honest thoughts on these things. This video is not sponsored but I will have all the links down below for everything that I tried on if it's still in stock. Let's get into it. I don't know where to start. So let's start with a few shirts. I love the print of this one and I think that the neckline looks so cute. Love the little poofy sleeves and it has a cinched back, just this color. It's like a it's like a dusty sage. I feel like it's gonna be so flattering. So let's try it on, let's see what we think. Okay, I like this one a lot. It's very different from a lot of the other shirts I've tried from them. The one complaint I have with a lot of Abercrombie shirts is they're not very bright bra friendly. So my bra straps would normally come here. I just went ahead and tucked them down. I have a strapless bra that would totally actually, no, yeah, it would work with this. The back's pretty low. So this would have to be a strapless bra top probably, or just a no bra top, but I really like it. I really like the tie detail. And then as I mentioned, I love the color and it hits right where my nineties jeans start, which I think is just flattering. I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> the, the funny thing about getting items in store is they very much smell like Abercrombie. <laughs> But let's try on a little tank. I thought that this one was interesting because I feel like the pattern of this is very like sweet, like Sunday school, Easter morning. But then the little cutout tie around the chest is a little more like adult sophisticated, a little bit sexy. So I'm excited to see how this one fits. I think it's really sweet. I like the first impression. Okay, I like this one because it makes me like really tan. <laughs> It is really the perfect mix between like simple, sweet, and then a little bit saucy. It's also probably a sticky bra or no bra top. I'm wearing no bra right now, and I'm surprised that the fabric actually is thick enough over the chest to cover everything because as you can see, it's a little more sheer throughout the body. Here's the front. Here's the back. I actually really like it and I'm also surprised that the cup size, I suppose, on this top is correct for me even though it's a small, which is good for my like C plus cup ladies out there. This is not good that I already wanna keep the first two things. <laughs> And as soon as I saw this one, I had to pick it up because this one is very Mikkel. I love linens, I love neutrals. If you've seen my brand Summer Mornings, we have several things like in this, or we will have several things soon, but we have one thing at the moment in this like exact same linen color, but this is kind of a little baby doll top, slightly cropped, also has a tie in the back, is very me. Okay, this one is just, easy. I feel like it'd be flattering on anyone. I'm wearing my normal bra with it and it's covering everything up. It's slightly cropped, not too cropped, which is kind of great for people that love, don't love cropped. Either way, the cap sleeves are cute. And then the low back takes it up to the next level a little bit, I think. I think this one's just really, really sweet and easy to throw on. And if I'm being honest, that's what I wear the most is whatever it takes the least effort and is comfortable, you know? Okay. I walked into the store and they had so many sets in the first room. So like, for example, in this one material, they had shorts, skirts, pants, spaghetti strap tops, I think a cap sleeve top, and it was like mix and match all in this one fabric. So I thought, Let's get a set. I tried on the linen shorts last time and I loved them, but ended up returning them because I think I'm just a little too tall for them. And I held these up to the linen shorts we tried on in the last haul. And these had a longer inseam and a higher rise. So I was really excited to find these. I hope they fit and I went ahead and got a matching little linen spaghetti strap tank top to make an outfit. Okay, 
interesting thoughts. I love each of these pieces separately, but I'm iffy about them together. Okay, the shorts though. It is so hard to find shorts that actually I feel comfortable in, that have enough coverage, are high rise enough. I was worried these might be sheer and they're not at all. I can show you a mirror shot so you can see the full length a little bit better. And then this top is so cute, fits so well, is very, very comfortable. But my only issue, maybe it's the fact I have, I have a very short torso and very long legs, a little bit disproportionate, it's okay. I think that this would look better if there was like just a slight little bit of space between the two so you could tell it's a set. This kind of just like wrinkles against the shorts. Maybe this would work a lot better if you have a longer torso, but I actually think that like, I mean, I could tuck it like this. I actually think that I would wear both of these just not together. <laughs> but the shorts, let me show you the mirror. My top still tucked under a little bit. I like it a lot better this way, but the paper bag type of top and the tie waist is just so flattering and you can tie it as tight or loose as you want it. The inseam I would guess is like two and a half to three inches, which is perfect because there's a good amount of coverage, but it doesn't feel like, you know, knee length shorts. <laughs> this is what it looks like in the back. I do think it probably wrinkles pretty easily, but that's just linen. I'd like to know your thoughts. If it's practical, let me know. Maybe we should try on some swim before going to the dresses and jumpsuits. I, oh. I love this. I don't know how flattering it's gonna be on me, but I feel like if you just got married and you're going on your honeymoon, this is the ideal bridal one piece. Up close, I forget what this type of almost like lace detail is. It's not lace, but it, it's cut out. I love the square neckline and it has like a very deep back. The bottoms for Abercrombie tend to be pretty cheeky, like too cheeky for me. But I don't know, I thought maybe if it's on a one piece, it wouldn't feel as exposed. Let's give it a try. <laughs> this makes me wanna like have a honeymoon again. <laughs> This is so cute. I took some artistic freedom with it and went ahead and tied the waist or the back around the waist. Cause in my opinion, it's a little bit shapeless without it. Here, I can show you. This is what it looks like without it. It's not bad. It's just not doing any favors, I don't think. So I was like, I'm just gonna tie this around my waist. I love the material. Square necklines are so in right now. And then like I said, white makes me look way more tan. So I appreciate that. I haven't done self tanner in weeks. So I need all the help I can get. Love, love, love it from the front. It is pretty like high cut, very eighties, I guess. So because of that, it's pretty cheeky. Like it goes pretty high up the back, but I do love the crisscross in the back. I mean, I do think it's like very sexy for a one piece, very bachelor at honeymoon appropriate. Do you know what I actually got from Abercrombie previously? That'd be so perfect for this. Let me find it. This was the pattern of the swimsuit I wanted and none of the swimsuits I felt comfortable in. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy the wrap to wear with other swimsuits because I'm the type of person that like likes to cover my hips if possible. And I feel like this will just be such a cute combination. This makes it feel much more comfortable to me. It has a little bit of extra coverage. But gosh dang, I love this neckline and I love this material. So I don't know, let me know. One of the things I kept from the last haul was that like tiered mini dress in this lemon print. And I saw the swimsuit in store and I had tried on a different swimsuit. I don't think in a video actually with the cup like this in a small and it was far too small. So I went ahead and got this swimsuit top in a medium to see if maybe it will cover the girls. And then I got a matching high rise, very, very, very cheeky high cut leg bottom in a small. So expectations are low for fit for this one, but I just think it's so cute. It's worth a shot. My fears are true. So the medium cups still are not enough coverage for me. And then the waistband, even on the tightest, is way too loose for a medium. So these swimsuits are really made for like a B cup girls. Maybe C, but probably not even. Which makes me bummed because I really want it. And then the bottoms are really cute, but yet again, very high cut and very cheeky. And I wish that they actually were slightly more high rise. If Abercrombie could just make some not cheeky bottoms, had butt coverage, but were still high rise and cute, it would be game over. But you know, like I said, if you're the kind of gal that can rock this, go for it. I'm just not comfortable in it. And then I do think that 
my boobs are coming out of all sides of this. So I definitely think that this is made for a B cups. Okay, so this dress, this dress is pretty pricey. This dress was $100. I'm probably not gonna keep this one, <laughs> but I haven't seen anything like it. And I think I came to the conclusion for me, for my long legs, their mini dresses are just too short. I kept that one baby doll one because it was a little bit longer, but I didn't get any mini dresses this time. I was hoping to find more midi and maxi length dresses. This is one of the only ones in store, but it's also just so different from their other ones. This one feels very like wedding guest attire, very, very, very formal. It has a slit. It is very, very wrinkly. In fact, I saw in the store, they were all wrinkly. And I was like, someone needs to come and steam these. <laughs> So we're gonna try on a wrinkly dress now. Okay, so I actually am not a fan of this dress. It just does me no favors. I forgot that this I actually got in the medium. They were sold out in store of anything smaller. I will list down below the sizes of everything I tried on in my normal measurements, if that helps at all. But this medium is definitely too large. And then this is like a slip style dress. People rock this style all the time. And I love the way it looks on other people. I've just never liked the way it looks on me. The color is stunning. The material is stunning. The length is stunning. It's just not my size, not my style. Here's it in the mirror. Love the slit and love the length, but like this way, okay, it's kind of flattering. As soon as I just stand like a box, I'm just not, I just don't like it on me. It's, it, it doesn't do me any favors. Okay, this is so me. I really didn't know if I should get it in a smaller or medium. Maybe you should get it in a medium since I feel like jumpsuits can sometimes be a little too tight on my butt and thighs, but I love the look of this utilitarian kind of khaki linen-y material jumpsuit. Oh, I really hope it fits, but I also kind of don't because it was 80, no, $99. So maybe it would be good if I could return it, but the material is very, very soft. It's not like stiff or denim -y, and it is a lot more relaxed than normal linen. Like it would be hard to wrinkle this, which is why I was excited about it. Oh my God. Gosh, this has enough room on the hips and thighs, even though it's a small, the perfect length. It's so cute. It's modest, but it's flattering. And if you're new to my channel, I have a weird slight obsession with anything that has like a Nancy Drew style to it, specifically the, was it 2008 Emma Roberts Nancy Drew style? And I feel like this kind of does it for me. <laughs> Oh, it's pricey, but it's so comfy and I don't think it's gonna wrinkle and I I feel like I'm in pajamas So I kind of want to keep it. I'll show you a mirror shot so that you can let me know your thoughts Apparently this also comes in petite or tall. I just got regular I'm 5'7 and tall is made for they said starting at 5'8 So I feel like I'm right in between needing regular and tall, but these are cuffed and I feel like I could uncuff them if I wanted to Oh, it's cute <laughs> Do y'all think it's cute? Should I keep it even if it's a little pricey? What do you think? Next, I got like an athleisure outfit. I figured we could try on both these things together. They had leggings and biker shorts and I walked around and felt all of them and a lot of them felt like typical legging material. But these, at least from the outside, feel very similar to the Lululemon Align leggings. I don't know if they're trying to make like a dupe. I've never heard of these. They are very affordable compared to Lululemon, whom I love. I love Lululemon so much, but these are $35. Love the color, got them in a size small. Typically don't wear biker shorts, but let's see. And then, at least in store, they had one of these left, and I think it's an extra small. It's an extra small, which typically I feel like when you get a crew neck, you want to size up. You want it to be like very relaxed and oversized, but this is so soft and it has like a very light, almost hand tie dyed, dip dyed type of feel. So I really wanted to try it. I got an extra small to try with these shorts. Probably would be better in a medium for me, but let's give it a shot. I don't need any more sweatshirts, but this is so comfy. Okay, if you watched the last one, there was one that had a really cute like racquetball club embroidery on the side and I was like this is my favorite thing and I still think it's my favorite thing I've been wearing it every single day this is the same material and cut it has like a balloon sleeve slightly which I think is kind of retro and then the material I can't explain it I don't know what it is it's like so soft brush fleece on the inside that it's like a little cloud I would size up and then the bike shorts I'll show you in the mirror but they are a great length very flattering. The feel of the fabric with your hand is so much like the Align. The fit is a little more form fitting. It's not as like naked feeling, if you know what I mean. I love the color. I love the length. I love the price. 
I might keep both these. Tell me I don't need more crew necks. Tell me I don't need them. Here's the rise of the bike shorts. They're very high rise, very flattering. And then they have a really good inseam. I would say maybe like a five inch inseam, like pretty in between, which I think is great. And then, oh gosh, guys, this crew neck. Oh, I love it. I don't need it. <laughs> Okay, the tag on these are pretty beat up. I think that they were previously bought and returned, but they have a Curve Love line, which I think is more my fit because I do have kind of wide hips. So I wanted to try these, but these are in a 26. Typically I'm a 25, so we'll see how it works. But these are the mom high rise. I really love the light wash and I love the minimal distressing. A lot of their jeans and the ones I'm wearing right now are very distressed, which is fun. But I think it's also nice to have a pair that is very minimally distressed. There's just a little around the ankle. 26 might not be my size, but Let's give it a shot. Okay, I love the rise and the wash of these. And the material feels very not rigid, which I really appreciate. Nothing's worse than sitting down all day in like a car or in an office in really rigid jeans, especially after 2020. Like we've all lost our tolerance for that. But I do think I'm a 25. They're just a little bit loose around the waist. So I should probably wait for my real size, but I'll show you in the mirror. I like this wash because yet again summertime makes me look more tan than i am <laughs> that's the name of the game this summer <laughs> i like how the mom cut is just like overall more relaxed and these are the regular length i think for the mom i might be the tall length for the 90s jeans they're much more long line i'm the regular length for my height but these I think I would get in tall. So I would get these in a 25 tall for me, but the overall style and material and wash is chef's kiss. I have a confession to make. I don't think I've ever worn a bodysuit in my life. They just don't sound comfortable. They sound kind of like more of a hassle than helpful, but they had some really cute ones. So I figured now's the time to try. The look of this one is so me. I love this. Yet again, another like creamy, flaxy, khaki, linen-y color, but this is like a ribbed cotton material. It is a bodysuit, but it's cap sleeve with a V-neck. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect for this. Let's try it. Okay, I really like this. The material's super soft and it just kind of looks expensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I feel like if someone told me this was designer, I don't know anything about that world, so I would believe them. Um, I like how it's like a little bit form fitting and there's a V, but it's not a super deep V. Don't know how annoying it is to pee in it, so can't tell you about that one. But it is really cute and it does look really good tucked into some like looser fitting jeans. I feel like this is the type of thing you style some jewelry on top of and you really make it a look. Even could be transitioned into fall with a fun jacket. I like this one. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. Here's a closer look at the material. I almost think it has a little bit of like a vintage feel, which might be why I like it. And then this, I'm honestly kind of bummed it's a bodysuit because this would make a really, really cute swimsuit. It has this little like cutout in the front and it's this black ribbed material. It almost has like a spandexy kind of feel to it. Very, very stretchy, but yet again, a bodysuit and kind of like a thongish bodysuit. I guess that's helpful if you're wearing tight jeans. So uh, let's see how this looks with some jeans. I feel like it could be chic. Okay, this one's a lot tighter than the last one and I never wear black. Like I just, I, I don't wear it as often and I, I like it. it. Feels very sleek, sophisticated. And this is a lot more form fitting than the last one. Like it has a very spandexy feel. So I think it's really flattering. It feels like a swimsuit. Like if you grew up doing league swim team, I don't know if that was just me, but it feels like that kind of swimsuit where it's like tight, but I like it a lot and it looks really good tucked into jeans. I love the deep scoop neck and I am wearing a bra with it right now. And it's like, can't see it, which is always a point for me because it makes it a lot easier logistically. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm a fan. <laughs> I did not think I would be here, but I'm a fan. They've really upped their game. I was talking to the employees in store. She was telling me, oh, we got a whole new CEO two years ago. They came in and made a ton of changes, wanted to be more inclusive, wanted to be more timeless. And I was like, they did, they did good. They did good changes. <laughs> so I'm a fan and now I can't wait for fall. I can't wait to see what they come out with in fall because I feel like if anything, I leaned for a little more modest clothing and by nature, when the weather gets cooler, you typically dress a little more modestly. So I feel like there will be even more that I like once the cooler seasons come around. So let me know if you'd like for me to maybe test out those items once they come in stock. And like I said, everything that is still in stock, I will link down below. I have noticed that they run out of stock of things quickly, but then restock them quickly. So 
if something's out of stock now, save the link. It might come back in stock. I've had that luck before in the past, so hopefully that's helpful. Thank y'all so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I love y'all with my whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day, and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you, talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all.